Hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday morning. Changing things up. Yeah, Tarian Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Program. Come on in. Come on in and join me this morning. Gonna do a little talking, a little meditation, and looking at the cards. Energy focus for the week. Time to change things up. Hey, Millie. Yeah, just finishing my meditations before I go to yoga. Time to change things up for me. How about for you? So much going on in the world. Have you noticed? So much going on. Prayers and blessings go out to Santa Fe, Texas, and all of those. We have to do something about this. Each and every one of us, every day, sending out blessings of light. We must do something about this. Definitely. Come on in and join me. Take a few moments here. Let everybody come in. Pick a card for your focus for this week, one, two, or three, and I'll reveal them in a few minutes. Yeah, what a crazy week it's been. So much going on. I know for me, I had a few days in Atlanta at Transform with my amazing coaches. So much gratitude. Pamela Bruner, Alex Ortner, Jean, Matricelli, Diana Needham, Melissa, all these people that have been helping, helping spiritual healers, coaches get this work out into the world. We definitely need it. So I am super grateful. Had a great turnout. Met lots of great new people. Really, to magnify this energy, we must get this work out into the world. We really must. We can't have these shootings going on. We have to take over with love and light. Hey, Tina, how are you? How's everybody in your family? We must get this work out into the world. We must. So very grateful for all my coaches and teachers. What a great weekend or week or a few days. I'm a little lost in time here, but what a great way to be inspired to really move this work. We need it. Helping so many coaches and healers just really raise a vibration to help other people do the same. So lots of blessings of love and light go out into the world right now, each and every day. And you can be a part of this too, just sending out those blessings. We must make a shift. We must raise the vibration. Really, really important. So come on in and join me for a few minutes. I'm going to pick a few cards, talk about the energy ahead, lots of cosmic forces going on, helping us to really understand what it is. What are these shifts and changes about? I know for myself, lots of changes, lots of shifts going on. Really good things. Not always the easiest, but when we can get to that other side, wow, it feels so good. Going to talk about that. So come on in and join me. I'm going to do a little sharing here. If you can, do the same. That would be great. Let's put this out there. So much to talk about. Lots of forces going on. We're coming to the end of the spring. So we've got a little bit of late spring, early summer energy coming in. Memorial weekend coming up. That always kicks off the summer season. So yeah, where are you sitting in this energy right now? What is going on for you? I know this week I talk about on the Empowered Spirit Show, I talk about shadows and darkness. Continue the conversation from the week before. Really important that we really look at this and open up. And this is what will help us, all right? It will help you to not hold on to this energy when we look at it, right? That's what happens. It gets stuffed down inside. It builds, it magnifies, and then we feel worse about it, and then it explodes it just explodes out into the world. So yeah, we really need to open up to this energy. We really need to look at those shadows and darkness. We all have them. We all have them. Thanks, Tina. Yes, we all have these things going on. So when we can share in this energy, when we can be open to our vulnerabilities, we can make a difference. We can make a shift. I know I shared this week on my Empowered Spirit show. I talk about some of the things I'm going through and some of the energies I'm not so happy about. I'm not, but I'm facing them. I am. I talk about resentment, all right? Not a great quality. I admit it's not a great quality and it's been eating up inside of me and it's starting to manifest in the physical world. So yeah, sometimes we have our own darknesses, right? We have our own blind sides that we don't want to deal with. I knew it was there. I knew it was there, but I just didn't want to sit down and deal with it. Why? Because we move too fast. Most of us move too fast. So I know for myself, slow down, take some of these techniques, some of these tools I teach, and really get to where I am and get help. That's what I had to do too, get help. And now I'm coming to the round. Well, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm coming to another side of it. Got some more healing and cleansing. Going to start a cellular cleanse this week just to really kind of continue to push this out so that I can move on and continue to help others, right? If I didn't look at this, then the physical part was getting me sicker and sicker and that wouldn't help anybody. So we all have it. We all need to look at it. And this is also too what's going on in the world, right? If we pretend like it's not there and then 
this mental illness comes forward and the guns that are out there, I mean, it's ridiculous, right? So there are ways to help. There's ways to work with ourselves. One of the things I talk about is thank goodness for my sacred space that I could just go there and sit. And as I sat, this is what came forward. So do you have a sacred space? Do you have a place that you can sit? That's the first step is just getting quiet and sitting. Really, it really is. That's the first step. So I offer you that. Definitely, if you don't know how to do that, I have a new um, freebie on my website, Terry and Hyman. Go there and download five simple steps that you could do. And we start with the sacred space. So you can get that. Yeah, I'll have to post that link. I didn't do that. Also, this week, we start the Reiki Healing Summit. Yay, 2018. I did post that link. Definitely, if you haven't joined, please do. If you want to learn more about Reiki, if you want to hear some more speakers, right? then go there and join. I'm on the third day, so my day is Wednesday, but there's so many great things. Reiki and animals, Reiki and intuition, Reiki and health, Reiki and sacred spaces. Yay, Millie, great. It is so important. So go there. Be sure to join in. It doesn't cost anything, but you do have to listen that day unless you want to keep the records, the recordings, and you can. I think there's a fee you can pay for that, but otherwise it's free. You just have to listen in on that day. So definitely click on the link. Join in. Help this energy modality get out worldwide. This is all over the world, this summit. Help it get out. Yay, Tina, I agree. Yay. Help this energy get out. It's a self-care tool. We all need it. And we all have the opportunity to learn how to work with it. So definitely check it out. All right. Take a deep inhale. Let's talk a little bit about the week. So we're going to start out on Monday. The moon has been so close to the earth. Everybody see the little sliver? The moon is building. It's been very close to the earth. So all that inner guidance is coming in and it is turning us up. That's how we look at the what is going on within us. So what is going on? What is your inner guidance? Slow down today. All right. Try to slow down. Ask yourself these questions. What are the shadows? Maybe you don't even know you have them. What is it I can really help myself to work with so that you can come closer to living your purpose, to doing the work that you want to do. So don't be afraid to slow down. Ask yourself, what is that inner guidance? That's what today is about. So I know where we are, it's hot and it's humid. Look at my hair, right? Get outside, slow down, take a few moments and really ask yourself some of these questions, all right? That's what we have for today. Monday, Monday we're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed. There's lots of energy coming in. Time to really kind of start acting on that guidance. Really important that we act on that guidance as well. Take one step at a time. I know last week we talked a little bit about doing that weeding out. We planted a lot of seeds. Now clear it up, clean it up, weed it out. Do that metaphorically, spiritually, even in your office, even in your files, even in your computer. I know I need to do that one on my computer. Clean off the junk so that opens a space, all right? Monday's a good day to do that. Tuesday, Tuesday is also gonna be a time to release some of that excess energy. So do that and then make a point of releasing that excess energy. It is building. Dig into the shadow side even more. All right, Wednesday, we're going to come into a place where we've got a little bit of a rectangle force of energy in the cosmos. Check it out if you're into astrology. But that's going to really help to align us and drop into the heart. Align the heart with the mind. Let that energy come forward for you. Open up the heart. Love wins. Love will win. Look at the royal wedding, right? If they didn't face those obstacles and if they didn't allow love to come forward, that wouldn't have happened. They, it wasn't easy, all right? We all saw the romantic part and the beautiful part. That was really beautiful, and we all wanted to join in. But they had obstacles to overcome, too. They had doubts in what was going forward. But love can win. Love can win for all around. Really important. Don't be afraid to embrace those changes. Look at what they overcame, and look what it's doing for the world. Really bringing that energy forward. Really important. So where is your love? Where's your love for yourself? Where's your love for others? Dig into that align, that mental, that spiritual, that physical, right into the heart and open up from there. You'll feel that in the middle of the week on Wednesday. Thursday is a little bit more of that overwhelm. Time to assimilate. We're going to be stirring it up, but that's okay. And again, that's where we slow down. Everybody's going to be anxious for that holiday weekend, all right? Do your work. Slow down because then by Friday and Saturday, it is a holiday weekend. So do your work early in the week so that you can get out there and take some time for you. Really important. Really important as we open up this weekend. Definitely. Center yourself. Find that some of that darkness. Don't be afraid. When we can face it head on, it makes it so much easier. Rather than waiting for it to explode, that's when it seems traumatic. Ask yourself, where is my blind spot? What am I hiding? Where am I hiding out? Those are the questions we look at. 
All right, let's take a nice deep inhale at center energy before we pick up the cards. Wherever you are, if you can, take a moment with me. Close your eyes. Feel your feet flat on the floor. Embrace the darkness to see the light. Yes, Jennifer, yes, yes, yes. Let's light a little sage. Just take a moment before you start your day. Come into the center. Inhaling, feel your feet on the floor and just bring that breath all the way up the body. And as you exhale, send it all the way back down, deep into the earth, centering the energy. Just joining us now, just take a moment, inhaling, bringing that breath all the way up, opening up that vertical channel. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Feel that connection. Bring in that spiritual body right in alignment with the physical body. Feel that alignment. Feel the alignment coming in. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Bring the alignment in, dropping into the heart. Let the ego rest, just drop right into the heart. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking a moment, bringing in your higher self, bringing in that guidance, calling in. Aligning, lining your spirit. As we honor the directions, here we are in the late spring, moving in some of that early summer energy. We're in the late spring, direction of the east. We honor towards the south, we're moving. We honor the west and the north, above us, below us, right into our hearts. Open up with this energy. Open up with this energy from your heart. And let us just take a moment and see this light shining all around the world. See this love rising up. Let it overcome the darkness. Take a moment and feel whatever darkness there is in for you. Go within. See if you can feel any darkness. See any darkness. Hear any darkness. And just shine that light within you. Let that column of light, let that radiant body shine the light for you. And whatever it is, let it be released. Energy follows intention. Ask to open it up. Fill the body with light. Let this light radiate out all around you. Let it shine for others as you open up to this week. Inhaling and exhaling, sending love and light out all around. So important, this makes a difference. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling the quiet of the mind, feel yourself being centered. Feel that light radiating out. As we open up and come back, look at the guidance for the week. Inhaling and exhaling. Coming back. Coming back. A little coffee. All right. Feels good. Yes, this work is so important. Keep shining your light. Keep sending love out. Love will win. Funny enough, the first thing is I'm shuffling the cards. The first card that fell out, and they always say when cards fall out that you have to look at it. So the very first card was the Two of Cups, which is a beautiful card. So this is for all of us. This is all about love, right? All about, I promise. This is the card that fell out. No... No picking it out of the deck. This is what fell forward today. And I love this. We have this romantic energy coming from the royal wedding. We have this all around us. This is important. Embrace it for yourself and embrace it with all your connections, all your connections to people. Everybody's struggling. Everybody has their hard times. All right, so maybe somebody doesn't say hello or they act like they don't love you. Maybe they have something going on inside. So where can you embrace this love when you meet people? Maybe there's a romantic connection coming in for you as well. All right, love jumper cards. Me too, Tina. Loved it. I was giggling as I saw this come forward. Such a great message for all of us right now as we let this royal energy just come out. It was a beautiful energy that came forward. So this is a great way to embrace it. Now, maybe you're stuck in how do I do that, all right? Great cards that come forward too. Three of cups is the next card. Move right into the next number, right? Three. This is about celebrating. This is about something that you're moving through. Find something to celebrate. And this is also... Don't just celebrate it with anybody. Celebrate with people that are important to you, all right? Join together with people that can really appreciate your work and what you're doing. So find those people to celebrate. When we celebrate, that energy comes forward. It magnifies, and that's what we want to do, especially that hard energy. Really important. So if this is the first card, three of cups, it's time to celebrate your work. Celebrate from the heart with those that are important to you. The next card is another three. Number two, the next card that comes forward is the three of pentacles. 
All right, so if this is about a big important work, all right? This is work that you're doing. Know this is important. It may seem like it's hard and that you never get to do it, but take a step back, reach out to your community, put your work out there, let those around you inspire you as well. Threes are always about opening up. It's about that initial completion. It's about community. And it's good because things are working, all right? These are pentacles. Things are working and connecting. So don't think of it as too hard. Just think of it, how can you open up to the community around you and bring this work forward? Really great. And also, too, as you open up to the community, don't forget that love. Bring the love forward. Remember, your work is of service. Remember, it's helping others. That's important. That is important. That is huge. And then we have the Daughter of Cups. The Daughter of Cups is great because she's all about that creative flow of energy. She's all about finding that energy. It's hard to see this. All right, the intuitive energy, the creative energy, bring that forward. There you go. Bring that forward. Look at her reflection is all rainbow. All right, bring that energy forward for yourself as you move through this week. Where can you be creative? Where can you be intuitive? Look for those signs. Really important as we move through this time that we continue to open up to our creativity, that we open up to our intuition. Really important. So yes, this week we're all going to be really still hanging out in that love energy that we all experienced yesterday, watching the reading or seeing and replay, whatever. I know many people watch it several times. The stand by me energy, the beautiful energy, just the vows and seeing that tenderness come forward. So where can this be reflected in your life? All right, celebrate. Get out there and celebrate. We'll see that towards the end of the week. So have fun. Make sure that you celebrate with those that are important to you. Reach out for help. Reach out to your community. Continue to do your work. Really important. It's building. It's growing. Don't get overwhelmed with it. Just reach out to others. Remember, you're of service, and this is how we expand our work. All right? Sales is, sales is service. And then bring that creative energy forward. This is young. This is fresh. Don't be afraid of your creativity. Don't be afraid to stand on the edge. I know I look at that all the time. Don't be afraid of it. Bring it forward. It may be different, and that's okay. That's what we need right now. We need different. We need people to stand forward in this intuitive energy and in this creative work. All right. Take a deep inhale. Let me know how that resonates for you. As you go out into the work week, all right, look for these signs. Look for the roses. Look for the cups. Look for the swans if you can. All right. Where are those mountains? Sometimes those mountains can be that darkness for you, but don't let it stop you. All right, look for the birds. Look for the threes. All right, take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out. If you have any questions, let me know. Anybody wants me to pick a card before we, before we leave this energy and set it out into the work week. That's what we want to do. All right, be sure to check out the Reiki Summit starting tomorrow. Great speakers, I think about seven a day. All right, Empowered Spirit Show drops on Wednesday talking about some of my dark sides and what I've done to help me move through it. All right, open up to this energy, definitely. Hey, Sean, how you doing? All right, guys, any questions, any card drawn? I don't see any. So just take a moment as we bring this energy forward. Inhaling. And exhaling. Change up your routine just like I've done. Change it up. Gonna head to yoga now. Bringing this energy forward. All right. All right, Tina, I'll draw a card for you. I know you have a lot going on. Let's see what we have for you. All right. All right, T, we've got the Seven of Wands. All right, this is all about your inner fire. All right, don't let the obstacles get in your way. Keep shining that light. Seven is a spiritual number, which we know you have. Yes, guys, check out Tina's group, the Empowered... No, the Intuitive Women group on Facebook. She does readings too. So just keep going, Tina. Use your light to help you through these situations. I know you're dealing with families and father energy, so just let your light shine through, sending them energy and love and light, and that will come forward. You have a bright light. Don't forget that. Open up those passions. Beautiful, beautiful card. Know that the work you do will help. Will help your fathers, definitely. All right, love it. Beautiful card. Love that inner fire coming forward. Use your tools, T. All right, guys. Anybody else? Sean, where are you? Anybody else? Otherwise, don't forget to join in on the Reiki Summit. Shine your light. Align your energy. Be strong. Put this work out there. The world needs your light. It needs our love and our caring. Lots of light. Lots of blessings. All right, Millie, I'll draw one for you. All right, Millie, we got the Five of Swords. 
So this is all about not cutting yourself off from the work that you do. This is a little bit about that self-sabotage, all right? See, it's like an earthworm cut in half. All right, it'll grow back, but don't let yourself get caught in the chatter of the mind, all right? And all of that self-doubt, don't let that happen for you. Don't cut yourself off. Get rid of those thoughts. Spend some time quieting the mind. Really important. Because, gosh, fear will get the way of us, and all this chatter can really stop us from doing our work. You have so many great gifts, so be sure to shine that light. All right, and also maybe, too, this can reflect some of that darkness we talked about earlier. Don't be afraid to reflect it, but don't hold on to it in here. Get rid of it. Right, get into your labyrinth. I know you do labyrinth work. Do that for yourself as well, and that will help you to rid that. Come back into the heart and into the love. For all of us, come back into the heart and into the love. All right, anybody else? Hang out one more minute. All right, guys. Had a great week in Atlanta. Excited for the work to come forward for myself as well. Very important we do this work. Get it out into the world. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Check out the episode as it drops on Wednesday. If you missed last week, last week we talked um, with Pam, Pam Moore. Really intense about addictions and her new book. And how to unhook from all those addictions. Really important. She started the conversations on shadows and addiction. So check that out as well. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining to your spirit. Have a great weekend or week. Look for the signs. Look for your guidance. Take some time today to be quiet and connect with Mother Earth. To your spirit. Love you guys. Thank you. Namaste.